All right, we're, uh, we're back on the 85C10. Uh, we've got a uh, bunch of wiring to do to it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get the cruise control wired up. This truck originally had cruise control, so when it leaves here, it's gonna have cruise control. That's one of the reasons that I, I really like to use a, uh, the original harness, uh, original computer. That thing runs the transmission, engine, and everything else that we have to run, the air conditioning, cruise control, whatever. And it's all pretty simple. So I say simple, but wiring it up sometimes isn't all that simple. Mm -hmm. So buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough one. All right. Uh, subscribe first. Yeah. And, uh, and then buckle up. So, yeah. Okay. Here we go. The 1985 C10, uh, it's very similar. The way the cruise control works on this 85 is very similar. Um, the only real difference in the whole thing is on a 1985 pickup, the switch that cancels the cruise control, uh, it is always in a closed position, okay? Uh, so when you hit your brake pedal, it actually opens the switch and you break that connection and that's what shuts your cruise control off on a 2005 suburban that we got the, the wiring the engine and all that stuff out of uh it doesn't do that it, it's the opposite the switch is always open until you hit your brake pedal okay so it, it uh some way or another in order to get um what is your problem <laughs> Somehow or another, uh, we have to um, get this switch uh, to get power going to it when we uh, apply the brake, okay? Instead of the opposite of what this is doing. So that, that, that's the only difficult part of doing this, but uh, it's pretty easy because we're gonna use a relay. relay, all right? And we can, we can fix that problem, no, no problem, okay? The cruise, the, on the 85 truck, the cruise control connector, down in the bottom of the steering column, right down by your right foot, right above the brake pedal, there's, this is the, the uh, control module for the cruise control in 1985, okay? So I unplugged it. I went down there, and we'll show you the plug here in a little bit, but um, I went down and uh, I ran my switch, and I identified each one of these wires, okay? Uh, the dark blue switch, it's uh, the set coast wire. It, when I hit the set coast button, uh, I get 12 volts right here. Uh, the, the start green wire, it's the resume excel. I hit that button, I get 12 volts going to it. When I turn the cruise button into the on position, the gray wire, I've got a constant 12 volts to that. Okay, and this is the connector that uh, basically went to this. Oops. 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 <laughs> we won't be using this anymore because the uh, uh, throttle actuator on the new engine and that's it takes over doing what that thing did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, this is a wire uh, connector off of the interior of that 2005 Suburban. Uh, I went through the wire loom and I found one that had some similar colors in it. So I'm just gonna use that one. But uh, in order to just be able to plug it together, I'm gonna take these wires, okay? And I will make the rest of my connections with the wire loom that goes out to the, out through the firewall, okay? And it'll just be able to, I'll be able to go up to this connector and I will just connect four wires and be able to plug this into it. And uh, that way I don't have to spend an hour underneath the dash. I'll just have to spend 10 minutes under there uh, connecting uh, four wires instead of a bunch of different wires. So, and it'll also be able to uh, take it apart if a person needed to take it apart for some reason. So, plus it's easier for me to wire. It's easier for me to keep track of, so. 
So let's start doing that. Just like when we did the other wiring that we do, I'll just start doing one circuit at a time. That way I, you don't get confused and uh, makes it pretty simple. So let's do that. All right, so since it's cruise control, it's uh, not a, a do or die situation that it works or whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna uh, solder everything, but I am gonna use a high quality heat shrink butt connectors on it, okay? Um, let's start off with uh, the easiest one, okay? Which would be the, uh, the dark blue that comes out of the original truck connector and it goes to a dark blue wire at the throttle uh, control module. So let's do that one first. We'll use this one. It's blue with a white stripe, but that's the closest I got to a dark blue, okay? So, and uh, dude, I went through the wiring harness that I had off, of, um, off the truck and I found, again, the somewhat same, same wires, okay? So, it was not going to be as much fun if you can't watch me solder something. I know. You know. <clears throat> these wires are, these are uh, 24 gauge wires, and then this is a, probably a 18. But these wires are, are going to be carrying very, very little amperage. So, um, small wires are fine. The original wires that came out of the firewall uh, for that truck, um, they were even kind of the same color. I could have almost used them, uh, but they were pretty big and they were kind of brittle. So I thought I'd just um, do newer, smaller wires. May as well do it right, huh? Yeah. So. All right, thank you, Emily, for letting me use your hair dryer. No, no problem. Appreciate it. Okay, so that one's basically done. The first, the very first one. So let's do the next one since it's another easy one where it comes out of the 85. It's a dark green one, but it ends up uh, gray and black at the uh, throttle module. So let's find a Whatever one's the dark green one. I don't have a dark green one, but I do have a green with a white stripe. So we'll use that one, okay? Is that all right with you, or do you want to use a different color? Oh, I don't know. Huh? That purple one's pretty nice. Okay. Oh, it is, I know. All right, so it goes to the gray and black, and there's also one that's gray and white. I don't have a gray and white one, but this one's kind of gray and white. But I'll use the gray one as the gray and black. Okay? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's confusing because it's green on this side, but I'm following through on this side. Oh, okay. You know? I got you. Working with wires can be so difficult. I know. I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, so that's that wire. It's the, uh, it comes out of the original, starts off as a dark green connector, and I just uh, connected this wire to it, and that's the signal for the resume Excel, okay? Next, it gets a little difficult. This uh, 85 truck, the switch is normally closed, okay? When you look at a wiring diagram and you see a picture, the pictures are, supposed to be with the vehicle at rest nothing on so when you look at a wiring diagram and you see that connection is closed it's a normally closed connection so until somebody mashes their foot on the brake pedal it it won't open so and then i confirmed that too when i when i checked this wire sure enough that my gray and black wire 
power all the time with the with the switch on and uh, hit the brake pedal and power would go away okay so that circuit was opening up when i touched the brake pedal but what we need we need that circuit to close when we hit the brake pedal uh and i'm not about to uh, go s start tying into the um, electrical part of the brake system and, and and tee into some of that stuff i'm going to use everything that was on this 85's cruise control as the cruise control system okay so that way if somebody has to work on it in the future there's not a bunch of weird stuff underneath the dash okay so the way we're going to do that uh that wire that is hot when your foot is off the brake we are going to use that power to come down to a relay that is going to so this relay is going to be hot so the relay is going to be uh, engaged basically energized. so yeah energized so pin 30 and pin 87 are going to be connected to each other so pin 87 is not going to go anywhere though okay it's just not going to be used that power that we're going to take off of this power switched on wire at pin 30 it's just going to be sitting there waiting to be used and the way it's going to be used is the minute the power is interrupted from pin uh, 85 that uh, relay is going to open okay and when a relay is in the open position pin 87a and pin 30 make a contact so you don't even if you took a relay and didn't have any wires going to it at all like this one um, pin 30 which is this one the 30s at a weird angle on these and then uh, the center pin which is 87a it has a connection if you check that right now with an ohmmeter those two have have a connection okay and that's the way they are at rest you put power to 85 and 86 it closes that and you would have power at pin 87 and 30 of course okay so on this one we're going to have power going to 30 uh, 87 is not going to do anything at all so that sim that's similar to having the the brake pedal doing the opposite thing so when we do open it up and that relay shuts down it's going to supply power then to 87a and it'll have battery voltage go to the uh, chmsl voltage like it's supposed to and that's what shuts down the uh, cruise control okay so okay so here's what here's what we've got to do now on this on this gray connector this is the one that when you turn the the switch into the on position this one gets power okay so it's hot in the on position and that uh, that goes and tells your throttle control module that you want your cruise control on so it turns that on okay and when that button's in the on position it has a full 12 volts all the time going to it okay so we're going to tee off on that. We'll have uh, two wires coming out of it. And one of those will feed the 30 pin on the relay. Okay. So let's wire that one up now. And then after we do that one, we'll just go ahead and we'll finish off the 87A that goes uh, through the firewall uh, with the rest of the other three wires that we just did. So we'll have that portion of it done. Okay. Okay. Right. So, gray. We're gonna use the gray wire uh, that comes out. There is one that is solid gray, so I'm gonna use that one. Uh, okay. So, here we go. So, pin 30 on our relay. I like using these also because if somebody ever gets down there and, and unplugs it it only goes together one way so a person wouldn't have to figure out which lead goes on which one so so i like to use these all right so we don't really have a gray wire but i'm using this brown one with a white strap i think that's close enough that'll work don't you I guess I could do it. We didn't want to use a huge butt connector. He said butt. <laughs> this is a kid-friendly program. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Remember when I said bung? Bung. Bung. <laughs> so, I am going to do it like this. Wire small enough that I can just turn it around. Here we go. They were turning back now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just did this one, okay? Going to pin 30 on the relay, all right? And we also did that one. That's, we just did uh, three wires together, okay? So now let's do pin 87 that goes through the firewall. It's the last of the four wires there. Sure would be nice if the 70 ran good. Yeah. You know? All right, we're not going to use um, the uh, pin 87 on the on the uh, relay, so I don't want the wire just in there flopping around doing nothing. So I am going to just take it out of the plug. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Which one? This one. Right. That one. Yep. Okay. So that's one that we didn't need. And it's gone. So we did our blue one. So there we go. We have all of the wires that are going to go through the firewall. Okay. Those are all done. So that one, that one, that one, that one. We're done. Now is probably a good time to check them we don't you don't want to do a whole bunch of work and find out afterwards that you have a bad connection or something yeah so i would uh, periodically while i'm doing it as i finish something i'll check it okay okay that one green one Okay. All right, so let's check it. How are we going to check it? Uh, with the ohm meter? Yep. Gray. Oh, dark green. Dark green, right? Hmm. Okay, zero? Yep. All right. All right, so let's do... So gray. There we go. Zero? Yep. Perfect. All right, dark blue, dark blue. Mm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. One other thing, uh, when you're using a ohm meter, mm -hmm. uh, don't touch the leads. Okay. Oh yeah. You see what it does? Because you have resistance in ya. That's right. So if you're working on something and you're trying to check the resistance on something and you, you're touching the leads while you're doing it, mm -hmm. you're also measuring your resistance. So, Okay, so everything we've done so far uh, works. Okay, so what do we got done? We got uh, everything inside of this uh, done. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, we got those fire wires done. We need to do uh, the gray black one that comes out of the 85 switch and goes to pin 85 on a relay. Hmm. 85 to 85. <gasps> Pretty cool, huh? It's meant to be. MTB. MTB. So that would be this one. Uh, and we said it, we're going to use the gray with a black stripe going to it. kind of connector are you going to use? Butt connector. Butt? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 no jingling. Excuse okay. me. Flea bag. 
Can you see people are working over here? No, you keep it down over there. Okay. All right, so that wire is this one, okay? Uh, it's the one that um, when the brake switch opens up, it'll lose its connection, uh, lose its power here, and shut that relay down, okay? And now we gotta do the ground because that relay will not work without a ground. So we're gonna connect uh, this ground uh, up to the, the ground on the plug. So that's a easy way to get a ground. Okay. Okay. And it'll be this wire. Just for fun, let's uh, we'll use a couple wires as a ground. Doesn't hurt to have a better ground than normal. Mm -hmm. You know. So let's let's use the orange and the purple. Ooh. Okay. These other wires, we don't need them. Just to make it look a little nicer. Okay, so that's all done. I don't have to get underneath there and deal with that, okay? Now we just gotta get underneath the dash uh, connect five wires together. We'll have to connect uh, these right there. And because I'm going to go, the, this connector is still here. I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, cut it off. And we'll have these, the wires that go to this connector to go to. So we'll have the ground and then the other four. And plug this thing into it. And then we got all the stuff to do on the outside. And just to shorten the amount of headache I have. Babe, I'm right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. So I'm gonna get rid of the wires that we don't need to. So this is a crucial point because nine times out of 10, I'd accidentally cut one that I would need. But I'm gonna take a chance. Those are the four wires that I need in the ground, correct? So I'm just going to get rid of them so I don't have to look at them when I'm underneath there. Okay. Cool. This is where it gets fun. Mm. All right. So this, that's the plug. Okay. Um, this was the um, cruise control module that was plugged into it. Uh, like I said, won't need it anymore. Uh, it's great that we don't need it because it it, uh, it was in the way of where the accelerator pedal uh, mounts because the accelerator pedal comes over to the left a little bit. So even though I had a wiring diagram for this, I still um, I don't I wouldn't trust the wire colors. So just to confirm my wire colors, I'm using a 12 volt test light. Okay. I turn the selector switch to the on position on the cruise control and I went to the gray wire okay and sure enough it's got power I'll shut the switch off and no power so I know that's correct okay I also should have power at the gray with a black stripe okay that's the one that uh, is going through the brake pedal and like I said, it's always on, all right? And I'll hit the brake and it goes off, okay? So brake off, off. And that's exactly what the wiring diagram showed. So that's right. The resume Excel, it was supposed to be a green, green wire. 
and hit the button for resume Excel. Sure enough, it works. And then the next one was supposed to be the set uh, coast button and it was supposed to be dark blue. And there it is, okay? So, I confirmed that that's right. So, the F, what we just did up, this is the other end of that plug. So now I just need to connect it to these wires and connect it and we'll be done underneath the dash. <laughs> Got a huge help going on there. Yeah, I don't know when we invited Ripley in here, but here she is. <laughs> oh. All right, and I'm also gonna need that ground wire and I checked, I confirmed that a little bit ago that it does, it is a good ground, so. Uh, so that's all I got to say. I oh, got that going for me. Got that going for me. Let's do the ground first, okay? Sure. Just for safety measures. Safety measures. Very safety conscious here. I wanted to do my purple and orange to the ground. That one's done. Let's do. Uh -uh. Green. Hey, do you guys have any food? Hey, I was wondering if you guys have any snacks. I, I noticed there's a lot of a lot of fun stuff going on in here, and I thought maybe uh, maybe there was some snacks involved. Yeah, I, we're talking about you. Yes. Yeah. You're very annoying. Uh, Red light. Out. Out. Get out. Go. Out. <gasps> Danielle. Dead yell. You gotta go. Out of the truck now. Ripley, now. Out! That means, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> no. Now it's just worse. Yeah. Heck! So. That one. That one. Alright. Let's do the gray. The black stripe. She's so worried that we're gonna go somewhere in a truck without her. Mm -hmm. That's what the problem is. Yeah. She feels left out. Yeah. She doesn't know she's a dog. Okay. Ooh, you give him a good shot of my accelerator pedal. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, blue to blue. If you didn't have a connect a uh, connector or whatever, you you'd have to sit down here and do all that wiring that I did down here and make those connections. Or, you know, I recycled that connector off of off of the truck but you can buy those connectors too they're really cheap it's an easy way to do it especially if you gotta ever have to get underneath there and take anything back apart undo it and uh, have it out of your way yeah uh, or if you need to or if something goes wrong with it and you need to repair it or something a lot easier than laying underneath the dash for an hour Okay, so need to need to heat shrink them. Okay. And that's done. So how long have you been a dog? Do you try to be annoying? <laughs> yeah. Or is it just natural? It comes natural to me. Oh. So I'll take an Tape that up a little. Then I'll nicely tape it to that plug too. Just to make it kind of neat. Okay. All right. All right, so the original wires went through this grommet right here, right underneath the fuse box. So I already pulled that chunk of wire out through it. It also has a big vacuum line that goes through it because uh, the um, cruise control on an 85 is actually shut off by 
shutting off the vacuum supply. But I'll go get the wires that, that I just did up and I'll bring them in here. I'll run them over the top of the steering column. Okay, not underneath it. Run it through the hole and then we just got to do the work outside. Okay. I just put stuff above the steering column and above the brake so it's not around anything that moves. Okay. Then I'm gonna zip tie it up here. There's a nice empty spot where nothing's in there. And Make sure your wires don't go anywhere near the moving brake pedal. Okay, see that? That's the brake switch. That's the, the switch um, for the cruise control, okay? So we didn't do it all, we didn't mess at all with the brake switch or anything. It's all, everything that we did is done entirely with the cruise control system. Okay. This thing mounts right here. Okay. okay. You like that? I like that. Put this through there. Yeah. Pull your gray one a little bit. There you go. Now, what do you think we should do? Um, Ripley thinks we should go for a ride. Oh. All right, we got everything done under the dash. So we got our four wires that uh, come through the firewall that come out to the um, throttle controller. So now we'll check them and make sure everything that we did so far is okay. So she's going to jump in the truck and uh, run it through its motions on the switch and the brake pedal. So see what happens. So the switch must be in the on position, right? Yes. All right, shut it off. Turn it back on. Oops. All right. So, so turn it on. Okay. All right. The light blue is the uh, brake light, which on an 85, this would be on, but we put a relay in there. So now step on the brake pedal. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Now uh, resume Excel. Yep. Not to resume Excel, right? Yep. Okay. And then the blue one is the set coast button. So it works. Sweet. Right? Yay. Yay! Yay! I wired something. Good job. Is the key off? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Um, so, on the wiring diagram for the cruise control on this thing, three of them go to the uh, throttle actuator. So, it, it just tells you the pin number, okay? And it doesn't give you any information on the other side of the wire harness where it comes through. So, this connector uh, this goes into the uh, throttle actuator, okay? Uh, it says pin number four, so 
I take my old meter. All right. Uh, they're numbered on the back if you can see them, but it's a uh, pin number four is going from right to left. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to stick a part of my ohm meter in there. And then I know it's, I just know it's this plug. I, so I'm going to see where uh, that wire ends up in this plug. Um, and. I think it's on the outside edge and number four is what color dark blue yep so on this on the back of this connector I know there's one dark blue wire right here so I'm gonna check that one and sure enough uh, that's the connection for it okay so the next one's five uh, right next to it and it is gray and black um I'll hold it again yeah uh, and i think it's this one and it is okay so we got the gray and black one the dark blue one and then number 14 is uh 13 pin 14 is gray and white There it is. Okay. Okay? Cool. All right. So we found those. We found the three of them that we need. All right. All right. So the other one is in uh, connector number two for some reason. It's the light blue one. Number six? Yeah, six is light blue. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. There it is. Okay. So that's the blue wire that we got to get a hold of. All right, so we've identified those. So I had I had the, the truck still out back that had all the rest of the wiring on it. So I've got the plug that goes to this. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take my wires that we ran through the dash and I'm just going to terminate them on a, on a plug. So it's a, in, in the event that the person has to take it apart or makes it a lot nicer when you're trying to make it look nice too that you can uh, pull them apart and uh, run the wires where you can. Oh, the other thing too. This thing, I got a little piece of wire on here. Uh, make sure if you're doing that, you use a piece of wire that's a lot smaller than the hole that you're putting it in there because if you force like that into that hole uh you'll cause big problems you you just spread them out and uh you know then yeah. you got a, a bad connection so whenever you're probing uh into one of these wiring um uh, looms don't use a wire that's that's bigger than what the the hole is you know so save you a lot of hassle uh, headache all right, so let's do this. Let's do this plug up first. All right, we know the blue wire goes to the blue wire, right? Yeah. It is nice working with the same wire colors. If I mm -hmm. could do that all the time, that would be awesome. Yeah. Mm. So blue. Dark green, we used it. We went to a gray. Gray with a black stripe. Which one did um, we just use the gray one on? So 14 is just a gray one. Okay, 
I know I can't screw this one up. I've only got one color to choose from. So, that one, a piece of heat shrink. Okay, so plugs into that one, right? Now, this one. And we will do it with a uh, connector. Okay? okay. Is that all right with you? Sure. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All in all, this hasn't been that bad, huh? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's definitely worth it to have cruise control. It wouldn't have been a good dock. You think so? No. People would be a little nervous when they saw me, my hands shaking. I think so. I do have a good bedside manner, though. I'd be like, hey, what's your problem? <laughs> I'd be known as the walk it off doctor. Mm -hmm. Why don't you toughen uh, up a little bit? Just walk it off. So, this one. So, we got to go to that What do you think? Okay, so uh, we've got one wire left to do and um, it's fairly simple, uh, which is great. So I saved the easy part for the last, but um, what's interesting about this wire is when you pull up a wiring diagram for the cruise control on this 2005, uh, and I've looked through uh, other years also, it does not show the wire that we have to uh, put in here to make this thing work. But it's really easy because it's already there. It has one wire that comes out of the uh, fuse box. It's up in the top of the fuse box. It says accessory. And it goes from there to the switch. And it comes out of the firewall uh, right here. And it goes it goes to this blue wire, would come up and go to the cruise control. So it's not long enough, so I'm gonna add a little bit to it. The wire that we're gonna go to is purple, so I'm gonna change this into a, a purple colored wire. And then I'm gonna pull it back through, and I'm gonna run it through with the rest of my cruise control wires, just so I can put them all in the same um, wire loom, so. But everything is done there for you, except for Adding some length to this one, and we'll find it in the C2 connector here in a second, and we'll add it to that plug, and that's it. Okay, so all right, so what we're what we're gonna add is this portion of it here. Uh, like I said, it's just a, a wire that comes out of the original 85C10 fuse box. It's up in the accessory thing. It comes, it goes right to this uh, normally closed switch that sits right next to the brake switch. Uh, which is what this one's going through. Uh, both of them are normally closed. If one of them was normally open, that would have been great because then we wouldn't have had to done a relay. All right, but this is also the one that's got a vacuum port coming out of it that uh, used to, they used to use that to run the uh, original equipment cruise control, but we don't need that portion of it. We just need the switch. So that's where I went and I'm gonna uh, get this wire where it comes through the firewall and we're gonna attach it to pin 33. Uh, it's a C12 in the connector number two. It's purple, 
and uh, I'm gonna make this wire purple too, just so it's not so confusing. And we're all then we're all done. We'll we'll check it out with the scan tool and uh, go from there. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So let's do what we gotta do with this wire. Uh, I've checked the wire like I do. I double check everything because uh, I don't like to do things four or five times. But it's got power. If I go and I step on the brake pedal, that power goes off. Okay, so that's a switch that's normally closed. And when the pedal is applied, then it is open. Okay, it's that way. Mm. Oh, that's a stereo in this thing. This is the first vehicle we've worked on that had a stereo in it. 65 has a stereo in it. Oh, it's true. Gets two stations. Gets a country. Oh. And Western. And Western. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while you're waiting on me, why don't you tell people what's happened with the uh, the C10 uh, computer? Um, huh? I wanted to pretend like none of that ever happened. <laughs> yeah. Problems happen though. You know, little things like that come up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why. That's well, why I don't have any blonde hair anymore. It's all gray. Whatever you do, don't take any soldering tips from me. Okay? I do solder a lot. You'd think I'd be good at it. I'm really good at heat shrinking though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've gotten compliments. The wire that we're gonna find, it's purple too, so that's why I used a purple one. I'm gonna go in the truck, I'm gonna pull it back through here, and then I'm gonna run it out next to uh, the rest of my cruise control wires. Okay, you wanna watch it while I pull it through? Sure. Keys front T sharp. Yeah. Sweet. All right, so we'll let that one cool off. All right. Is that okay with you? Sure. If it cools off, or do I gotta burn myself? Oh, I don't know. I like when you burn yourself. Okay. Okay. So this uh, next switch that we have to find or the next wire that we have to find it's in the c2 connector it goes to the pcm and it, it lets it know that the uh, brake is applied so and it is c12 so one two three c and 12 out here in the end it's purple it's the only purple one left so okay All right. there it is why they would not put that in a wiring diagram, I have no clue. It does not work without this wire. There are reasons why I know that. Countless hours trying to figure it out. I'm trying to shake as much as possible. Yeah. Helps the solder flow better. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's my last solder for this one. Here, put the little insulator in there. Plug it in. All right, cool. So there we go. All right. Awesome. The wiring. For the cruise control is done all right all right so let's get the scan tool plugged into it we'll see if we can uh, check it out uh, with it running okay i'm gonna check it with it running because that's the way cruise control works you can tell with it just in the key on run position but 
we'll just to make sure we'll do it with the truck running. So let's try that. You fire that up. Okay. okay. Get that going and I'll do this. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so let's look, take a look at what the cruise control is doing. Uh, cruise control active, uh, cruise control inhibit signal, cruise on off switch, uh, cruise release brake pedal switch, resume, and there's cruise set and coast. It's off, okay? So if we didn't have that last wire that we hooked up, that lets the computer know that uh, the brake is not applied, the PCM know that the brake's not applied, uh, the cruise inhibit would be off, so it would not let the cruise control work, okay? So I'm gonna turn the cruise switch on, and cruise is on, okay? And then I'm gonna hit the resume button, which is this one right here. It works, okay? Here's cruise, uh, see, cruise set coast button is right there. Okay, so it works. Uh, the only thing is cruise control is not active, but if you were driving down the road above 25 mile an hour, it would have went to yes and uh, maintain the temp, the, that speed, not the temperature. Doesn't matter what temperature it is. No, I doesn't care. But so let's try the brake pedal also. Okay, and I'm going to hit the brake. It knows that the brake is applied. Okay, so and it needs both of those signals the uh, normally closed and normally open signals in order for that to work properly. Okay, so it works. Yay! <laughs> I'm surprised. Cool. Usually things I wire don't work. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the 70. <laughs> Poor 70. I don't want to talk about the 70. All right. Uh, it's always great to have something work uh, after you wired something up. So uh, a real, a quick note, okay? We, like I've said before, we use all data. And uh, can you get a picture of that switch right there? Can you see it pretty good? Kind of, yeah. Okay. This is, a, and I've looked through other years too, and they all have the same picture there. That picture is not correct, okay? That switch, if you were to really look at it, the way it should look is one contact should be closed, which would be that purple one that we did, just did last, and then it has one that's open, which is how we tricked the other with a relay. But so, if you were to look at this wiring diagram, it would not work, it, it's, that's wrong. I've got the switch out of the, the Suburban and I confirmed it. Uh, with an ohm meter, that 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 is not correct. So that's the thing. Don't don't always believe a wiring diagram. Uh, always, if you can, go to that switch that you're working with and double check it because sometimes it's wrong. Okay. Yep. Thank you for watching it. Uh, we really appreciate it. If you would hit the subscribe button, it really helps us out a bunch. And we're gonna bring you a whole bunch more videos. So thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.